And uh, who knows what we'll discover when these things are more widely available and have more, you know, qubits available to them. Yeah, I think this is oh. like, so, so I get a lot of pushback from people like, oh, you know, it's only good, for, quantum's only good for a few things, right? Like among the pushbacks. And I'm like, it's only good for a few things so far, right? It's kind of like, and I, and I go back to, you know, I, it might have been a previous guest said, you know, nobody in the 60s at Bell Labs when they were inventing the transistor, right, had TikTok in mind. So we don't know what we don't know, right? And uh, who knows what we'll discover when these things are more widely available and have more, you know, qubits available to them. Like, we really don't know. I don't, there's, it's not a good idea that, like, quantum computers are going to re replace classical computers. Because I don't, you know, I have my iPhone next to me. It's not like I don't see any scenario. Maybe I'm wrong, but we're... A, or a quantum computer, where my iPhone is going to be running on a quantum computer. I don't think it's going to replace classical computers. I, I seriously doubt that.